All right, all right, all right. Walk and talk. Let's go. So without overthinking this, the first thing on my mind is we all root for the underdog, right? And there's something to be said about rising from the ashes and coming from behind when no one expected you in life to do so. And, uh, and you do it on your own terms, right? And uh, if you know anything about Kobe Bryant, Mama mentality, even Michael Jordan, they both complement each other, right? In terms of that same mentality. Y you look for things and moments in your life, at least I do, that gives me that extra oomph, you know? Like I seek out things that... Honestly, the impossible, right? That's what I'm trying to say. And um, this is what drives me in terms of being motivated to achieve the next milestone. See, once I make the comeback, quotation marks, right? And you reach that point, there's always something else to conquer, like in championships, right? Basketball analogy. You win one, you want to you you want the next one, and then you want a three peat, right? If you like my uh, accessories, it's just from Amazon, folks. I get a lot of compliments on it in person. Uh, anyone can rock it as long as you uh, you believe in your own swag, right? You are good within. So, yeah, oh, my dog does not like the decline on this here. So part of this series is that. I'm not going to edit anything out so you can see it. This dog is 100% life. 0% anxiety. <laughs> I just did that video. Also, this morning, I had a procedure, dentist, dental. I hate going to dentist appointments, but managing my gums and teeth are vital, extremely important. And so my left side which is the right on the screen for you is numb and i was looking for excuses to not show up today but how could i i mean look at the environment look at the environment look at what i'm surrounded by and with this is this is a start of making your comeback is perspective wow that came out really well i didn't plan to you know, there's no, I didn't, I didn't write this down, folks. Part of the diaries, walk and talk is just, you speak your daily, right? What you go, what's going on in your day, the highlights and your challenges and your wins. That's what I like to do. In fact, I talked about this channel in one of my group calls yesterday in the Faceless uh, Channel Academy that I'm a part of. I'm running a couple of Faceless, faceless channels, right? So, so you can... See, I'm struggling a little bit, but that's not an excuse. It's in the 70s today in Vegas. 72. It's a perfect weather to be out. There's no way I was going to stay in and just call it, you know, not walk today. So the greatest comeback really is what's important to you. And when you see yourself in the mirror, do you talk to yourself? Is, this, is there that inner voice, the intuition? Was it? You know, it's been calling your name. It's got your number. You know what you have to do. Take that voice and put it into perspective. What drives you? What's important to you? What have you missed out on in life due to that very stance that you're in right now? Or lack of taking any position or stance, right? Inaction. How do you make that comeback? See, <clears throat> when, when, when someone says comeback, there's an assumption that you're behind in life. Are you really behind? Honestly, just, just like a raw, honest <clears throat> question. Ask yourself, am I really behind? I, on the surface from the external looking in, appear to have everything that I want, but I don't. I just uh, left my corporate job, right, nearly three months ago, 
making two hundred over two hundred thousand. This is my next chapter. This is my challenge. I don't know what's going to happen, but the joy in my face and the freedom that I feel of being able to just do this, man, I can't put a price tag on it. I am already making my greatest comeback, even though I'm nearly 50 years old, 49. So I have seen a few things in life. I have made several comebacks in my lives. In my life, I had hernia surgery three years ago, 2021, uh, bilateral, both sides. And uh, I couldn't even hold the phone in my hand. Um, and I remember the first, the, the first two days, it felt like death. I was scared of the surgery as well. But I've done a video on that and I'll link it. You know, for anyone undergoing hernia procedure, if you have any questions, please ask this guy here, as well as do your research, but ask this guy because I not only faced that surgery, but I also, um, you know, suffer from pretty bad anxiety. At that time, it was really bad. So everything was collapsing in my head. But really, the surgery itself was not so bad. Actually, not bad at all because you don't feel nothing. And even though they tell you this going in, you still you're going to worry anyway. So uh, I made one of my greatest comebacks during that time because there was, uh, your haters will silently watch you, right? That's like the theme. Either they'll talk a lot of smack or just not clap for you, or just disappear, um, pretend like you don't exist, pretend like, you know, you, you, don't, you are not that guy that has the it factor. I proudly say I am that man that has the it factor. I've always had it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do some of the athletic things that I'm doing today. So, athletically, and you can take a look at my Instagram. I'm not bragging. This is just a humble. So, it's a humble brag, right? Humbly speaking. And I'd love to teach anyone that wants to learn. So, that's how, that was one of my greatest comebacks. Because, see, American medicine, the Western medicine, will try to keep you in your chair, in your couch, in your bed. And uh, the procedures are as such that cures, uh, you know, a few things. But it's up to you to sustain the life that you want. And uh, there's some natural remedies that you can, you know, execute through your own self. By, you know, just by you being you and taking action. And really, that's one of my stories I wanted to share. Is that's how I made one of my greatest comebacks. I got into the best shape of my life. If you've seen my other videos, you know, I, uh, I dropped alcohol uh, consumption by at least 90%, uh, 70 to 90%. I dropped it. Uh, I've had some relapses with alcohol, you know, and uh, alcohol will be a theme in my videos is because... Uh, if you're an alcoholic and a substance abuse, especially alcohol, uh, that is a major factor why you're not able to make any kind of a comeback or rebound in your uh, decision-making life, your wins, progress. You can ruin it all by abusing alcohol. So, you know, like I said, this is very free flow. When you watch my videos, I want you to feel relaxed. Listen to the sound of the trees behind me. Just listen. What, I do, what I've done is I've raised the gimbal high up in the air so you don't see my ugly face, but you hear the sound of the leaves. When I talk about magic, this is it. This is it. This is happiness. This is happiness. Oh, my God. In many people's eyes, I'm winning. Okay. But I'm, I'm not content on where I'm at, even when you get to this age. And so if you have the drive, if you have the vision, I don't think there's anything that can stop you. When I got into the best shape of my life after surgery, even the doctor said, look, you're getting old. 
you know, you're not a young, young uh, spring chicken anymore. You know, do, do you think I really wanted to hear that? Do you think I believe that bullshit? It really is bullshit. I uh, took part in a dance battle just last year at First Fridays here in Las Vegas against a 20-something year old. You know, I'm, be I'm out working a lot of 20-something year olds. My girlfriend is in her 20s. Not so much all, all you women that's going to shame me, right? You older women, right? It's not, nothing personal. It's energy. Energy, your vibe. I have a very young man's vibe. I, I, I look younger than my age. I know this, okay? This is a point in my life. It's not time to brag. It's time to accept the gifts that I have earned. But also, it's time to pave it forward to the men that are struggling to find their identity and um, looking to make their greatest comeback, right? And uh, I've had a very tough un uh, upbringing in terms of, you know, being the underdog. One parent household, meaning that the, 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 the father that I had was, uh, you know, unfortunately taken away uh, very early in life. Uh, we lost him to Parkinson's and the decline was just, uh, uh, I, I don't know how he got through it, but we did. Uh, and he died uh, in 2018, you know. There, there's, there's a silver lining in all of this, is your greatest comeback sometimes stem from some of your deepest, darkest areas in life that induce a lot of pain. And a lot of the pain that we feel and experience is due to our own lack of action or perspective. I'm still numb, folks, but I'm doing my best to deliver this to you. The greatest comeback doesn't have any secret. The greatest comeback is this. Times seven days a week. Times four weeks in a month. Times 12 months in one year. That's 365 days of you just showing up. Okay? And I want to hit this home. Showing up consistently has a ha, has an epic compounding effect you are not just going to achieve one goal that you wrote down but it, it, it impacts every area and aspect of your life so you talk about making the greatest comeback of your life this is it we are already almost mid-november and i did a video six months ago about how you want to plan your year halfway point then i did a quarterly update video right three months to go the winter arc you have all this material on my channel just one of the videos you can watch there's thousands out there this is still a new channel but see my greatest comeback in life is this so just to be able to do this makes me win outside of this this is my bubble this is my safe haven and the greatest comebacks are made and, and, and won here. If I get this right, everything else falls into place. Now, don't get me wrong. The problems are still there. I still feel pain. I still feel dark. These, these dark thoughts and desires, negative thoughts, right? Uh, it, but, but this is a cure for a lot of that. A lot of us are really behind in life is because we love our vices. We're addicted to the known, right? We are not, we don't want to embrace the unknown. And the unknown requires you to put in the work, man, woman. It really does. It's not about heavy weight lifting. It's not about one particular thing. It's about optimizing your behavior in a way that complements your decisions or making the decisions that complement your lifestyle that puts you in the driver's seat. You have the keys. You, start, you gotta start the car. You are the, you are the car. The engine is within you. And the formula is everyone's path to making that comeback is night and day. Night and day. Uh, I wanna conclude this one here with saying that you gotta find your why. You gotta find your why. Once you find your why, nothing can stop you, man. Nothing can stop you once you find your why. 100% once you find your why. 
because once you find your why, the vision, you can see the end product. You can see the end game in all of this. And as I'm speaking to you, as I'm walking and talking, I'm about half, three quarters of a mile in now, and I, I feel nothing but magic right now. In all my walks, this is magic. If I don't walk, really there's no video, right? So I'm holding myself accountable. Every day is a comeback, but you have to be very deliberate about the bigger picture of the end version of you. And even when you get there, there's another layer of that. You peel back layers of yourself. Part of this is self-transformation, self-discovery, and then building a killer mindset, a disciplined approach to, to life. Okay, I can keep going on this topic, but that's essentially how I have won in life in the areas that I could win and control, I have. Uh, there's obviously a lot more work for me to be done, even at this age. It never stops. Never stops. Okay, so until the next one, number out.